Thank you all for joining us today. And I just want to say, first day of class, this is a really great announcement to make as all of our students are back and we're celebrating the start of so much. And I want to really begin by uh, letting everyone know who's been impacted by the recent storm and the Ojai earthquake, you know, that the Trojan family sends their thoughts for a safe and speedy return to normalcy. I know that many Trojans have actually been out there as the first responders in all facets of emergency operations. And we especially thank our own USC facilities management team and our Department of Public Safety who worked around the clock to keep everyone on campus safe. And here we are on a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. And of course, today we're here and thrilled to see a return to our typical Southern California sunshine. That and, of course, today's announcement will really brighten the day for our student athletes, our coaches, our athletic staff, our entire Trojan campus, and our Trojan family. Now, many of you will recall that when we started the process of identifying our 10th director of athletics, we outlined what we thought were foundational criteria that would really be important. We wanted a leader with great integrity above reproach, someone that would maintain our student-centric focus and our academic excellence, winning the right way, a fierce competitor, and of course there were other considerations. Our director of athletics would also need to be fully invested in making our athletics vision and our athletics moonshot a reality as we continue to build the best athletics department in the country with world-class facilities and innovative space planning that will benefit all of our teams, really important to us, and broaden our community while also prioritizing gender equity in support of Title IX. Now, our move to the Big Ten next year is also demanding a leader who can work immediately and seamlessly with the Big Ten Conference and campus leadership, many of you here today, to ensure we're not just meeting, but far exceeding our expectations. And so we wanted the best person, and that's why we were very methodical and deliberate in our approach. We were also pretty quiet about it. I did receive hundreds of resumes and recommendations, solicited and unsolicited. Thank you, social media. I brought in Parker Executive Search to help run the process, and they've been terrific. And after what I believe was a very thorough and careful vetting of many wonderful candidates, there was one clear candidate who stood out from the rest, who met our criteria, who energized all of us with a passion and a determination to go above and beyond. So today, I am very excited to announce the no longer a secret appointment of Jennifer Cohen as USC's new Director of Athletics and the Charles Griffin Kale Director of Athletics Chair. I have a lot more to, to say about you before I turn it over to you. <laughs> Jen has more than three decades of experience in athletics and a reputation as a very seasoned, engaged, and a steadfast leader who takes a student-centered approach in building and running a winning athletics program. And I heard that from everyone I spoke to. For those of you who do not know, Jen is also, in fact, an LA County native. So she has a very deep uh, respect for the Trojans, and an understanding of the integral role that our institution plays in Southern California. After meeting Jen and over many conversations, it became very clear to me that she's passionate, she's accomplished, she's an empathetic leader. And while she is known for that deep compassion, she's equally regarded as a fierce competitor. And we demand someone who wants to win in every sport and wants to do it the right way. She also embodies all the qualities that our coaches and our student athletes and our staff and faculty told us during this search process that really what you wanted to see in your next director of athletics. 
and I can only imagine how excited you are going to be when you get to know her and, and have a chance to start working with her. Now we're entering an unprecedented era, we know this, in transformation of college athletics. So we also knew, as if it wasn't a big enough job, we need a leader that has a strategic vision and has the experience to help USC athletics through this historic time. And she shares a vision and values. She has that experience and drive, and she's very tenacious, you'll see, to position an already thriving athletics department for success in what will become the athletics departments of the future. She's also an already an influential national voice in college athletics, and I think we need to hear about that as things go forward. Now, she comes to us, as many of you know, after seven years as the athletics director at a fierce competitor, the University of Washington. Under her leadership, UW's athletic program has achieved great success in the classroom, like we are care about here, and in competition. She oversaw an athletics department that achieved several conference championships, including in football, men's soccer, men's basketball, men and women's rowing, boasts a softball team that remains one of the strongest in the nation, and so much more. And through her long career working in athletics, she knows how to build and run a professional athletics operation that feels like everybody belongs. She loves to work with her coaches and her staff while building a culture of respect and integrity. And I know that's what everyone cares about here. She also shares our commitment in ensuring that our student athletes can achieve their very high academic and athletic goals. Now she's also the mother of two college-age sons, actually both student athletes, and talking with her, I know that she truly understands and cares about student athletes, and she now has a pretty unique window into the needs and the concerns of student athletes. She'll go on to tell you how she really um, appreciates the challenges and the opportunities in this moment of evolving athletic environment and wants to create that student-centered experience that enables us to thrive and to really uh, have our students be well physically and intellectually. So I can't imagine a better individual to lead our athletic department in this time and take us into a new period of success. Now she's joining an incredibly strong athletics department team, and I see many of you in the room here. And in fact, she told me that that was one of the many aspects of USC athletics that attracted her to this role. And I wanna make a few thank yous right now, and I'll say some names and then we'll all thank, but I wanna start by thanking Dr. Denise Kwok and her interim leadership team, including Sandy Barber, Mitch Mosier, Courtney Toth, and others who helped oversee our athletics department during this amazing transition. If you could all please stand, I'd like people to be able to recognize you. Another member of that team is Byung Soo Kim, who does not want to be noticed, but we're going to thank him too. Um, I can't say enough about Denise's strong, calm, and steady hand over the past few months to ensure that everyone in the athletics program was supported and able to maintain focus without a distraction from the mission. And she reminded me earlier, the most important thing I said was sustain momentum. And I want to give you all a shout out because we have not missed a beat and that momentum is real. So again, thank you to all of you for all that work that you have done. <laughs> Sandy and Kevin and Mitch brought decades of experience in collegiate act. Uh, um, expertise to Denise and to the program, and that's going to also help us be able to move very quickly uh, in our move to the Big Ten, which, by the way, is less than a year. I think they even have a clock counting down for the days until that move takes place. I also want to thank our board chair, Suzanne Nora Johnson. You're going to hear from her in a minute for her incredible partnership and support throughout this entire uh, search process. And like Jen, Suzanne is a fierce 
competitor who wants USC to win in the right way in everything that we do. So it's great to have this day with you, Suzanne. And finally, again, I want to just thank the entire athletics department to our coaches, our leadership teams, and our staff for all the work that you do and for your true commitment to our Trojan teams. And we're with you. We are all saying, as we frequently do, the best is yet to come. And that's a pretty high bar from what you've already been able to accomplish. So we're ready to get going. Jen is not going to wait a second longer to join us on campus. I remember at the start of the process, I said, I think we're going to have an athletic director in place before the first football team. I don't know that I said the first day of class, but here she is, and she's reporting to Heritage Hall tomorrow. So it's wonderful to have her here joining a Trojan family with her two sons, Tyson and Dylan, student athletes, as I mentioned again. I know she's excited to return home to California. We are so pleased to have you. Give her a great fight on to our 10th, USC's 10th Director of Athletics, Jennifer Cohen. Got to do my first fight on. Ooh, good. <laughs> first of all, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for being here today. I just need to take a deep breath and take this all in. A uh, lot of hard work to get to a moment to be at a school like USC in this beautiful setting. Um, I'm just humbled and I'm honored uh, to be the Director of Athletics here at the University of Southern California. As President Fult mentioned, I'm originally from California. I was born in Arcadia. Both my parents grew up in the LA area. So I always had such a strong admiration for USC, for the legendary teams, the legendary letter winners, the Trojan spirit, and just the big space that USC takes up in this LA sports culture. So this is extra special for me and very meaningful uh, to come back to my original roots, uh, to lead a storied and iconic athletic program at one of the most prestigious universities in the world. I wanna take a moment, so bear with me, because I have some people I wanna to thank too. First of all, Dr. Fult, thank you for entrusting me to steward and to lead this program that means so much to so many people and to this great university. Uh, you have a genuine care and love and commitment to athletics is unmatched. And the fact that you care so much about all 21 sports and all student athletes um, was a, really a huge drive you know, for me for me to come to USC and you've got big bold visions not just for athletics but the whole university and so I can't wait to partner with you on you know achieving those moonshot goals that we have for Trojans at Trojan Athletics so thank you again so much. Suzanne Nora Johnson thank you for your wisdom for your grace and for your service to this great university. I can't wait to serve you um, the board and, and all the members of the board in this very important role. Okay, where's Denise? Let's give Denise a shout out again. This is a, and I know you had great support from Sandy and the team, but I was an interim once, Denise. I love you. You, uh, you and the staff did a tremendous job. Uh, very, you know, always hard during those types of transitions and just flawless. You've been so kind to me and uh, the whole staff has been. Um, one of the things that's really uh, impactful to me that I noticed right away was Dr. Fultz's leadership team, all of you are just so kind. And personally, this is a very big transition for me. And it feels so flawless already because of the kindness of the group and the leadership team. So I just wanna thank you and let you know, I cannot wait to collaborate with you. Okay, I'm not gonna get emotional because so I'm like, I'm not gonna be the girl up here that's gonna cry, right? Because that'll be the headline. Um, but I, I wanna talk about my sons for a second because this is the first time in my career I've ever been in anything this big and this meaningful to me without them. So Tyson and Dylan are both in college, college age, and as uh, Dr. Fult mentioned, they're, they're student athletes. And they have just given, first of all, they're my everything. 
And they have given me so much perspective on how to show up to work every day and really thinking about the environment that we should be building for our student athletes and for their families. You know, I dropped Dylan, my youngest, off at University of Montana just a couple weeks ago. He's playing football there. So he's in starting week three of, of, of fall camp. I called him last night, we FaceTime. I said, when are you starting school? He's like, I have no idea. I love football. I'm like, no, you're a student athlete. So we're, we're gonna focus on that. But taking him through the recruiting process, moving him into the dorm, seeing just how you know, intimidating and exciting, dreams, fears, it really does inform you know, me. And so I do come to the job as a mother and I, it's really something that I'm very proud of. I've worked in college athletics and higher education for the last three decades, and there is no place that has afforded me more opportunity than the University of Washington. I want to take a moment to thank uh, President Kause at UW for, one, believing in me, developing me, caring about me, and caring about our student athletes. I, I loved all of our coaches. I, I wish them the best, our coaches, our staff our student athletes, our fans, our alums. 25 years in college sports, all the coaches and administrators are here, you know, that's a long run uh, to be able to do that and, and to make so many memories and, and create um, so many special accomplishments together. And so UW is always gonna have a very special place in my heart, except for any time they play the Trojans, right? <laughs> yeah. People ask me all the time, why do you do what you do? You know, AD jobs are crazy now, as Dr. Fulton mentioned, the landscape's changing, and my answer is pretty simple. I love to compete, I love to be part of a community, and I absolutely love developing people. Coaches, student athletes, staff, ourselves. That's kind of my why. And that is what drew me to USC. USC is all about developing people to be their best selves. There's probably nowhere else in America that we can develop into our best selves more so than USC. It's a special place, it's a special time. And as Dr. Fult mentioned, there is so much momentum to build on here. We have excellent coaches, elite student athletes, world-class faculty. We've got um, letter winners and all, oh, yep, yeah, this is me. You'll see I'm kind of klutzy sometimes. Um, that's okay, I'm a human. Uh, the letter winners, the donor support, it, you know, and, and in a world-class region and city, it's just a very, very unique place. And the coaches in the room and the staff in the room know this. When you have this kind of momentum like we have here, there is no rest. We got to put our foot on the gas and we got to accelerate so we continue to elevate. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to work tenaciously and tirelessly to uh, ensure the moonshot goals that, that Dr. Fult has laid out. And really, the work's really gonna center around just a couple things, is, and the main priorities for us are to cultivate the best student athlete experience in America. USC is the destination for student athletes, the best student athletes who want to come and reach their highest potential in everything that we do. And secondly, we're gonna continue to build off of the competitive standard, the standard of excellence here at USC, and, and again, in everything that we do, in the classroom, in competition, in the community. Very few schools can say what we can say with confidence, which is we can win a national championship in all 21 of our sports. And at the same time, we can graduate our student athletes with transferable skills that better prepares them for life after college. And we can do all of that because of all of you because the USC family, because of the resources and the support and the passion that's here. And I cannot wait to tap into that. I will say this, leading USC athletics is not just an opportunity of a lifetime, it is a responsibility of a lifetime. I will lead with integrity and with character and with heart, and I will lead with passion in a way that will be embarrassing sometimes on the sidelines. So, Everybody, I'm preparing you for that. I get, I get a little fired up during games and all competition. Um, I just want to say to our student athletes, I can't wait to meet you. We're having a reception tonight. I think there's going to be food and maybe some swag. So hopefully all of you that are around can come and, and meet me, and I'll be cheering you on all year. Uh, to our letter winners, to our coaches, to our staff, 
our faculty, and everyone that loves the Trojans. I just can't wait to meet you. I can't wait to learn from you. And I cannot wait to unite with you to make USC athletics the gold standard in college sports. Thank you very much. I'm so honored and fight on.